A young Ontario boy with autism and a passion for soccer has just seen his dream come true. His story caught the attention of his favourite team thousands of kilometres away in Greece. So when they visited Toronto for a tournament this week, they made him their guest of honour. Stephen D'Souza has more. Hello, my name is Gregory. Meet 10-year-old Gregory Stavrou. He's about to have the experience of a lifetime. We're going to meet Olympiakos and then we're going to go home. Olympiakos is the biggest club in Greek soccer with stars from around the world. How their There's worlds intersect is a story about a family's love for their son in soccer. Go, 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 go! We first met Gregory in 2010. Diagnosed with autism at age two, CBC profiled him as part of a special soccer league. Go! Back then, he barely spoke. Using soccer and social media, his family has charted his progress, raising awareness about the joys and challenges of autism. Gregory, what's the best sport? Soccer! Those videos, including the CBC report, made it around the world. Still, when Gregory's Japan, father, Achilles, received a message from Olympiakos, the team he had idolized his entire life, he was floored. For them to show that love back to me, like, if you really think about it, who am I? I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. At their invitation, Gregory was given the chance to meet all of his favorite players during their trip to Toronto. This is Andreas Samaris. I got our family. They beat Brazil 3-0. Cristian played that day. For us, uh, sport can help. Uh, we know that uh, it's a tool of education, tool of integration. The joy on Gregory's face was obvious at times, difficult to detect at others. He does still have difficulties with, with socializing, but when he wants something and he likes something, he does tell you. There's still a long way to go. Accessing support services for children Gregory's age is a challenge. We want respect for our children, uh, acceptance and love. That's all we want. Smile, buddy. Smile. And while he can't always express it, for Gregory and his family, this was a dream come true. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.